So guys, welcome to the channel once again. Today we have a somewhat special video. This is going to be about the Tokimurui Scar uh, Mark 16 Mod Zero, uh, the NGRS from Tokimurui. Uh, and in this video, we're not going to be talking about specifically uh, on the gun out of the box because this gun came already full upgraded from Contractor House. They were very important uh, in this project. They sourced the gun uh, and their tech uh, install all of the upgrades inside. Uh, we're going to talk about the builds, so the accessories, the internals, and a little bit about uh, our experience with the NGRS system. Of course, don't forget to check out Gators Eyewear, uh, Combat Systems, and of course, Contractor House. Use our code BISTA10 and check out their website. Um, in an airsoft world where we have a lot of M4s, uh, having Something different is a breath of fresh air. So this car is very unique. It has its very own specific design uh, and it will surely turn some heads on the field. Uh, this is not my, uh, my personal gun. This is from uh, B13, which is the guy on the team. Uh, he is not on the team yet. He is trying to get into the team, but uh, first he's got to pass some trials. Uh, let's see if he's worthy or not uh, of becoming a best airsoft team member. Um, but I have the chance of shooting it, of playing it, uh, playing with it, uh, with it uh, for a while, uh, so I can give my own personal feedback uh, on this gun. As I said, uh, a lot of M4s on the field, and you know this is going to be something different. And this reminds me of a situation in my fellow Portuguese countrymen. Uh, I think will relate is when you have a Portuguese immigrant that is working in France, it's summer vacation and he is coming to Portugal to spend some time with his family and he brings his beautiful blonde, blue-white French daughter and you just, you fell in love with her and you want to have a summer love uh, together. So very sensual, very poetic. Uh, but I digress. Um, so this is a gun that you know you want to touch you want to have a feel of it you want you want to see how it feels on your hand uh, because it is different uh, you don't see a lot of scars on the field although quite recently the portuguese army adopted the scar as their main assault rifle so probably you're going to see a lot of them uh, in portugal soon um, but you know it is still uh, predominant m4 platforms uh, on the field nowadays so as you can see, we did a lot of modifications uh, in terms of externals and internals. Starting with the accessories and the things that we put here, um, we, as you can see, we replaced the stock UGG boot, uh, you know, that some people don't like. Um, it is not uh, a very beautiful stock, so we went with the ACR1 from PTS, uh, which was not easy to find because I, I think that they, they, they don't make them anymore. Uh, but we got our hands on one and it complements the whole look of, uh, of the gun. Yes, I know you're seeing the fluorescent paint. Uh, it is uh, the mandatory law right here in Portugal. We tried to cover the, uh, cover the, the paint by using some masking uh, tape. You know, it is what it is. We do our best, uh, but it still looks good on the gun. You do have to do some modifications to the uh, ACR stock so that you can put the battery here on the back, as you can see. By just having a Dremel, um, you can easily uh, modify the ACR stock to accommodate that battery. Of course, attaching the, uh, the ACR stock to the SCAR, we have purchased a 3D printed um, adapter. So we bought this from a guy from Germany. Uh, I can leave the link uh, to the 3D design uh, that you can buy and then make uh, the adapter. But it, work, it, it works very well. Um, you still maintain the function to open the, uh, the stock. So yeah, no problems whatsoever. It has been working very good uh, until now. Uh, then we went with a, an LPVO from uh, Vortex. This is the Crossfire 2, which is very well known. Uh, it is one of their entry level uh, LPVOs, one to four magnification. And it is the type of optic that looks very good on the gun. In my opinion, a lot better than a standard red dot. Um, uh, we have the throw lever to, um, to adjust the magnification and of course the uh, replica Geissele 
uh, mount with the trays because you lot, you've got to look Gucci. Um, then on the front, the other thing that you can see that is different is the uh, Airsoft Artisan M-Lock kit uh, for the SCAR. Um, it modernizes the SCAR, you can use M-Lock which is becoming the standard uh, nowadays and the gun looks uh, a lot more you know slim uh, a lot more slim uh, on the front so it is a good upgrade uh, not easy to find also but this is from airsoft artisan an angled foregrip um, and then a uh, 3d printed suppressor by dips just to hide as you can see the uh, mandatory uh, fluorescent paint that we have on the front yeah it is what it is this is the Mark 16 Mod Zero, so it has the longer barrel, but, and this was the solution just to keep it a little bit shorter. Uh, for externals, that's really about it. Uh, for mags, we have been using, uh, of course, the stock one and the PTS EPM mag specific for the NGRS uh, system. Uh, uh, talking about the upgrades, uh, we are not going to reveal uh, the full list of upgrades that we have inside this gun because this was um, this was upgraded by Contractor House and if you have questions or if you are interested of upgrading your own NGRS we recommend that you talk with them uh, we're not going to reveal just for you know respect for the the store uh, so that other techs don't mimic what they do because they because their tech is outstanding and he does great work on uh, Toki Marui uh, NGRSs. Uh, a lot of guys put their uh, Maruis uh, uh, at Contractor House uh, to get those upgrades. But, you know, uh, basically inside this gun has been completely uh, upgraded. Uh, they present to us, they presented to us three options like a more basic one, uh, a middle term one and a top tier one. And of course this is Bisht Airsoft, so we wanted the top tier uh, package, which is normal. Uh, Bisht Airsoft uh, likes to go to extreme lengths to have uh, the best platforms that we can have. Um, so basically inside you have a lot of Prometheus stuff. We are using a flat top configuration. Uh, new barrel um, gears, new motor. So this gun is is a beast. A lot faster, shoots like a laser. Um, so quite happy with the 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 way that this gun is performing. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the um, the uh, response of the gun. It is completely safe. So quite fast, and this is full auto. So as you can see, uh, it is quite different from the stock uh, one. Um, as I said, if you want to know more, just ask Contractor House, uh, talk with them, and put your uh, NGRS's uh, to their tech so that he can modify them uh, and basically that is it so and now talking a little bit about our experience with the uh, with the SCAR and the NGRS system uh, as you know we do like to have uh, realism on our um, on our airsoft guns uh, and to be honest the NGRS was never a option for us uh, why a while ago, we had the chance of testing out a Mark 18 NGRS, uh, and to be honest, it was quite disappointing. Recoil almost in, ex uh, in existence. The gun stock does not shoot very well, but you know we usually just upgrade our guns like the the Scar. Uh, but the the thing was the 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 recoil. Uh, it was at least on the Mark 18, the recoil uh, was very uh, very weak. So. Uh, giving around, you know, 
550 euros up all the way up to 800 euros because I have seen this car uh, nowadays costing between 550 and I saw for example uh, 700 euros which is quite expensive uh, for an airsoft gun uh, and then you still have to put a lot of upgrades in it uh, you can with all of the money that you spend you can buy for example a system of PTW or even save up a little bit of money and buy a GBLS test platform if you're looking for a realistic AG. Of course PTWs don't have recoil um, but their performance is outstanding. Um, and if you're looking just for the empty magazine detection system there are other platforms for example the ASG Scorpion Evo which is you know an ugly gun but in our opinion is still one of the best guns in terms of price uh, performance ratio um, so that's why we never uh, we never uh, wanted an NGRS um, but you know B13 or future B13 uh, wanted a SCAR and he wanted the most realistic SCAR as possible but he didn't want a gas blowback one so basically the only option was the Tokimurui uh, SCAR NGRS uh, we warned him that he, that he had to do a lot of upgrades uh, to this gun um, and he did. So when we received it, uh, and of course he wanted to test out this, this bad boy, uh, the recoil was quite uh, pleasing. A lot more recoil than the Mark 18. Uh, and that was a surprise uh, to us. We were expecting, you know, just that weak electric recoil but not in this case, the SCAR, uh, at least the Mark 16, uh, I assume that the Mark 17 has uh, even more or the same, uh, has a lot more than the, um, than the uh, Mark 18 M4 platform from Tokimurui. So that was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> So, you know, if you're looking for um, an AG that, is re that has realism and you still want to feel that recoil, we can recommend uh, the SCAR L or SCAR H from Marui. Of course, be aware that uh, if you want that ultimate performance, you're going to have to do a lot of upgrades to uh, this system. Just to have an idea, this the overall build of this gun without accessories just the upgrades and the gun itself it's uh in around uh 1200 euros which is a lot of money uh so yeah have that in mind uh although there are some uh kits uh that the i think the mark 18 and the hnk version have to uh boost up the recoil uh, but I don't think that there, there is for the Mark 16 and the Mark 17. Um, but you can uh, upgrade the recoil, but that means more money. So uh, basically, that is it for this video. Uh, overall, uh, cons with the Tokimori NGRS platform are the, uh, the platform is expensive, uh, because it is. Uh, this gun at Contractor House costs around uh, 550 euros. Um, you have to do a lot of upgrades, so more money. Uh, the internal uh, upgrades are specific, so usually that means also more money. Um, but the pros are, at least on the Mark 16, good recoil. Um, the empty magazine detection, of course, is also a nice feature. Uh, it's not uh, but of course is not as good as uh, a GBLS DAS platform or a gas blowback gun because it is just a button that you press you don't feel uh, any pressure on it you know it's empty then you just press it and you're good to go uh, check out contractor house if you want help once again as I said with the upgrades just talk with them um, and of course don't forget to check out our other sponsors uh, Gators Eyewear, Combat Systems, and check out, of course, our website, um, uh, our social media, Instagram, Facebook, and all of that good stuff. And, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just put on the comments below. And see you next time and see you in the next video.